All right, guys, so what I'm gonna talk about now is shooting on shutter priority mode. So if you can locate that there's a dial on the top of your camera, if you have a Canon, it would look something like this with the, um, actually something like this, with the M, the A, B, the T, B, and the P. Whereas if you have a Nikon, it would look something like this with the M, the A, and the S, P. So if you're shooting the Nikon, you're gonna turn the dial towards the S, Shooting Canon, you're going to turn the dial towards the AB. Um, and the, this will give the priority to your shutter. And you can change the, it's a semi automatic mode. You can change the shutter speed, and the camera will automatically set the aperture number or the f stop, right? Did you say TV or AB? TV. Okay. AB is aperture priority. Uh, and we talked about the aperture the other day being like the pupil of the eye and you can open it or close it, make it bigger or smaller, those numbers correspond with the size of your aperture. So your camera will automatically change the size of your aperture um, to get a correctly exposed image. The one problem though is that camera doesn't have a brain, right? So if you're pointing something, I talked about the first day we met, if you're pointing something that is not that mean or average of the highlights, the shadows, the mid-tone, you don't have that. Like, for example, if you're shooting at the beach where there's a lot of white sky and light reflecting off the water, that's actually more in the white range of the grayscale. Therefore, you may have to do what's called exposure compensation. But for right now, we're going to assume that um, you're looking for an even, middle, gray, overall tone, right? So, um, you're going to start to find the shutter speed number. So how do you find the shutter speed number on your camera? Uh, oftentimes, it may be like, um, the number may be like 250, 1,000. And what that number represents is a fraction of a second. So. Uh, when you click that shutter it should take it like if you were to pop your lens onto manual focus mode um, and you you had it focused and once you had the image focused and you press down on the shutter it should correspond immediately there should be no delay on these cameras the point and shoot digital cameras sometimes have a delay yes you have a question? Yeah. okay so you, you can change the shutter speed right and so you know, shutter speeds sometimes go up to like one one thousandth of a second, one two two thousandth of a second, even faster. And what that does is the faster the shutter speed, what does that do to motion? If something is going fast by, we talked about this, if something is like, you know, a car racing by and you're at a fast shutter speed, what would that do versus the slow shutter speed? Yeah. It would, how do you speed your Hold on, I answer my question. Blurry or sharp? Sharp? Sharp if it's a what? If it's opening and closing faster or slower? Slower? Slower would give you blur. No. So you would have like a trail, fast, which is a higher number. Yeah, you got it. You understand? Yes, what's your question? So you turn the dial, right? I think you can help her change her shutter speed a little bit. Did you all see how to change your shutter speed now? You can start to play with that number. This one? Maybe, maybe Kit can yeah. see that. Wait, what guys? Yes. Um, we learned that two of these uh, cameras... Stop the video. We learned that all right, kids, let's get to it now. So the basic rules of working with shutter priority that I want you to be aware of in terms of the numbers is, you know, this is kind of an, an average range 
of numbers you're going to be looking at. Outside, you really do not want to go below like 60th of a second shutter speed. That's going to be way too slow. Your pictures are going to be blown out. The whites and the light highlights are going to have no detail in them. What you want to be is somewhere probably uh, at 125th or higher. And some of your cameras go to 1,000th, 2,000th of a second. Yeah, I mean, depending on the model, it goes, it could go up pretty high. But I, I really would like you today to be shooting. We're going to do some portrait, um, some landscape shots of the Verrazano Bridge with the sky. I want you to be somewhere in the range of like 1 100th of a second to 500th of a second maybe a thousandth of a second. And what I want you to pay attention to as you're changing it, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the same picture over and over again, maybe three, I would suggest, three of the same picture, but change the shutter speed. And what I want you to be conscious of is the details in the sky. How blue is the sky? How white are the, you know, the sky? Um, are there clouds showing in the sky? <laughs> All right, guys, so let's go out and shoot and have some fun. <laughs>Okay, so what you're doing now is you should start at a starting point do 250th of a second shutter speed for those of you who can control and have dig digital SLR cameras. And what I want you to do is check the sky. See if it's white, see how dark it is or how much detail is in it. And the then go from there. You What's can go the second shutter speed. I would How does it look? Does it look too white or too uh it looks too blue. Looks too blue. So, but that one I really like, but the one I took after that one I don't love. Is, I what, don't like that. What don't you like about it? I don't really like it because it was too dark. I felt like. Show it to me. I feel like it was too dark. Where was it too dark in the photo? I feel like the sky was too dark. The sky is too dark. So yeah. then you want to slow down the shutter speed and you want to make it like um, one twenty-fifth of a second. Try that. Okay. Okay. So the lower the number, the slower the shutter speed. It's the, the ISO speed, right? No, it's not the uh, ISO is, is how sensitive it is to light, like in the old days film speed. So okay, so as you go down in number, the shutter speed in shutter speed, you're gonna get a wider sky. What are some of the shutter speed numbers that you all are liking? Wait, I'm wait, I'm trying to change my shutter speed, but something.